All right, so here we are. It is Tuesday. <clears throat> We're going to focus a little bit today on some pranayama. And uh, so, and so one of my favorite pranayama techniques that we actually do every day is nadi shodhana or alternate nostril breath. And what I love about nadi shodhana is that um, it helps to balance both the yang and the yin, the solar and the lunar, the some say masculine and feminine qualities within the body. So we can think of the masculine qualities as logical, direct, kind of energetic and outwardly focused and the fem feminine qualities as more inward reflection, more yin energy. And no matter our gender identity, we each have both masculine and feminine qualities within us. And at any one time, you might have heard of the chakras, or people say chakra, I can barely say it anymore. It's chakra, like chocolate, chakra. And each one of our chakras that run along the spine can at any one time be running more yang energy, solar energy masculine energy, or more yin energy, the feminine, the yin, the reflective, the lunar. And so to balance ourselves and to feel our energetic signature along each of the chakras, not really open or closed, but more just balanced between the masculine and the feminine. One of the ways we do that is with this pranayama practice, Nadi Shodhana alternate nostril breath. So let's allow ourselves to feel our seat and our connection to earth, connection to the land we are on, the land of the Coast Salish people here in the Pacific Northwest. Take a few moments just to notice your natural breath through your nose if possible. The thing I want to mention about Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breath is that one nostril is likely going to be a little bit more open than the other, and that's okay. So we'll bring our right hand to our nose, thumb by the right nostril, ring finger by the left. I like to put the middle at the third eye, the pointer on top, but you can also curl the fingers in. Yeah. So let's track our nose open. So pull on the nostrils so that they're open for one breath in and out through both. And then lightly close the right side, inhale through the left. Lightly close the left, exhale right. Stay for an inhale through the right. Lightly close that side, exhale left. That's one round. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. That's two rounds. We'll do five more at your own pace. If you get confused, just remember you change nostrils on the exhale, stay for the inhale. Your next exhale through the left might be the last one. And we'll pause with our hands perhaps on our lap, breathing through both nostrils for just a few moments of silence.
You notice the tip of your nose and the breath moving in and out. Bring your palms to your heart in any shape that feels useful. And just bowing the head, taking this moment to be grateful for our breath. This sweet partner that has been with us from the day we were born. Who will be with us until we leave this plane. One ohm together, deep breath in. Ah. All right, my dears, we'll begin on our backs. I'm doing a few little knee circles one direction and a few knee circles the other direction. And then both knees go over to the right in an easy twist. So knees can be apart. <clears throat> and back to center and both knees over to the left. Back to center, and we'll rock ourselves up and over onto hands and knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Stay for your inhale, cat. Exhale, back to cow. Toes tuck under. Downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Again, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. One more round, halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise all the way up. Palms right to your heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step your right toes to the back of the mat. Bend your left knee, inhale here. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Make your way to the long edge of your mat and go side to side, skandasana, side to side. Next time you're to the right, spin everything that direction. Bend your right knee, lift your heart, inhale. Straighten the leg, exhale. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Plank pose. Come onto your right side, could be right hand, right knee, or right hand, right foot. Take a deep breath in. Come back to plank. Onto the left side, could have your knee down. 
deep breath in. Come back, plank. Shift your weight forward. Knees could come down, lower halfway down. Cobra pose or up dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Left foot steps forward. Dip the hips, lift the heart. Straighten the leg. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Make your way to the long edge of the mat, Skandasana flow side to side. Next time you're to the right, spin everything that direction, bend the right knee, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten the leg. Breathe in here. Bend the knee, look forward, step forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Mountain. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Left toes step back, right arm lifts up. Deep breath in. Make your way to the long edge of the mat. Skandasana. Flowing side to side. Next time you're left, spin everything that direction, bend your left knee, lift your left arm. Deep breath in. Plank. Left side, side plank. Back to plank. Right side, side plank. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog, right leg up, right foot steps forward, right arm lifts up, skandasana. Next time you're to the left, spin that direction, bend the left knee, lift the left arm. Frame your front foot, step forward, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Palms to the heart. Surya Namaskara A, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga, you might step back, plank and lower. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog, take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold, rise up, inhale, palms to the heart, arms up, inhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up. Palms to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. 
forward fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog, take a deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Palms to the heart. This next one's slow. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back to plank. Shift your weight forward. Bend your elbows one inch. Knees could always come down. Two inches. Three inches. Four inches. There's your chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Deep breath in. Downward facing dog, five breaths. Walk or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Forward fold, five breaths. You could grab opposite elbows. You could interlace the fingers behind your back. Let your arms rinse out. Whatever feels right to you. you might nod your head yes. You might nod your head no. When you're ready, rise all the way up to stand and bring your palms right at your heart, chair pose, Utkatasana, deep breath in, fold forward, long breath out, halfway lift, inhale, I'm going to say down dog your way, which means you could step back to down dog, you could step back, plank, chaturanga, cobra, up dog, to down dog, or hold plank, or anything else that feels right to you, right leg goes high, inhale, Draw the knee in towards your belly, chest, or nose as you hover forward. Lift the leg back up. Take that right leg across your body toward your left elbow. Lift the leg back up. Take it toward your right elbow. Lift the leg back up. Step the foot forward between the hands, crescent lunge high on the ball of the back foot if possible reach your arms up exhale cactus your arms bend the back knee inhale lift the arms straight in the back leg exhale bend and cactus inhale lift and straighten exhale bend and cactus now keep the knee bent if you can arms up twist high left arm in front and then Revolved exalted warrior. So you might reach that hand toward your sacrum or your left thigh. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Find the pose. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. You might have your right elbow to the knee. Inhale, star. So both arms are straight, both legs are straight, toes point out. Exhale, bend your knees, goddess. And deep breath in together. Long breath out. Straighten arms and legs. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the back of your mat. Find the pose. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle, left elbow might be to the thigh. Come back, warrior two, pivot your back toes, crescent lunge, nice. Arms reach up, cactus the arms, bend the back knee. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, cactus and bend. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, cactus and bend. Keep the back knee bent if you can, lift the arms. Twist high, right arm in front. 
And then revolved exalted warrior, left hand might go to the right thigh or the sacrum, big breath in. Down dog your way, so that might mean chaturanga, you might float the left leg, might mean you step on back to down dog, take a few extra breaths. From down dog, that same right leg lifts. Bend your knee and spin your hip open. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in. Take the right knee toward the left elbow, toward the right elbow. Back up to the sky. Inhale, open the hip. Exhale here. Take a deep breath in. Bring the right knee toward your left elbow toward your right elbow, back to the sky, open the hip and breathe in. On your next exhale, take the right knee to the left elbow, toward the right elbow, back up to the sky and then step it all the way forward between your hands, crescent lunge, up you go, breathe in, bend and cactus, lift and straighten, Bend and cactus, lift and straighten, bend and cactus, stay there with the legs, lift the arms, left arm in front. Revolved exalted warrior, big inhale, warrior two, inhale exalted warrior, exhale side angle, inhale star pose, Exhale, bend the knees, goddess. Stay for a deep breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the front. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Back to warrior two. Pivot your back toes, crescent lunge, reach up, breathe in. Cactus the arms, bend the back knee. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, cactus and bend. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, cactus and bend. Keep the legs, lift the arms. Right arm in front. Revolved, exalted warrior, big breath in. Down dog your way. Again, you might. Float that left leg if you chaturanga. From down dog, you're going to stay for a couple big breaths in and long breaths out. Lift your left leg, inhale. Take that knee in towards your belly, chest or nose. Lift it up, inhale. Left knee toward the right arm, hover. Lift it back up. Left knee toward the left arm, hover. Lift it back up. Step it all the way forward, crescent lunge, rise up, inhale. Cactus the arms, bend the back knee just one time. Lift the arms up, twist high, right arm in front. Now, palms might come together. You might bring the right wrist, forearm, or elbow outside the left knee. If you choose to do that, you find the hook with your tricep and your knee, and then you can straighten the back leg as much as feels right in your body. Continue to draw the belly in and up so you can really rotate through the torso. From here, you might open your arms high to low. Yeah. So now listen, from here, revolved exalted warrior, big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle two more times. Your inhale is exalted warrior. Your exhale, side angle. Last one at your own pace. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess, bend the knees, drop the booty low. Inhale, star. 
Warrior two toward the back of your mat. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted. Exhale, side angle. One more at your own pace. Back to warrior two. Pivot the back toes, crescent lunge, reach your arms up. Cactus the arms, bend the back knee, keep the knee where it is, reach the arms up, twist high, left arm in front, you might stay or bring your palms to your heart. Bring that left wrist forearm or elbow outside the right knee and then perhaps you straighten the back leg and then perhaps you open the arms high to low. From here, revolved, exalted warrior, big breath in. Warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Fold forward over your legs. Fold forward over your legs. So this time you want your toes to point straight forward. We're going to take five breaths here in this forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, make your way toward the back of your mat, frame your right foot, down dog your way. So that might include chaturanga. You might float that right leg. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Lift your left leg, bend the knee and spin the hip open. Inhale here. Take the left knee toward the right arm, toward the left arm, up to the sky, open the hip, breathe in. Exhale toward the right arm, toward the left arm, back to the sky, open the hip, toward the right arm, toward the left arm, toward the sky, inhale, step the foot forward, Crescent lunge. Inhale here. Bend the back knee, cactus the arms. Keep the arms up. Twist high, right arm in front. Bring the palms to the heart. You might stay or right elbow, wrist or forearm outside that left knee. Then straighten the back leg. Then perhaps open the arms high to low. One big inhale, revolved, exalted warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle, stay. You might have a half bind reaching behind your back with that right arm. You might have a full bind by threading your left arm under, but only if you really feel your shoulders stack. Yeah, nice. You might stay exactly here, or you might step that right foot forward for bird of paradise. Now you can come with a half bind. You would just grab hold of your knee with that left hand, yeah? Right hand still behind the back. You might keep that left knee bent, or you might straighten the leg. Take a deep breath in here. Long breath out. Now with the half or the full bind, bend that left knee, place the left foot to the floor, and lift the right leg into a half or a full bound, half moon. Nice, take a deep breath in. Land back, warrior two. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Turn the toes to face forward, fold forward over your legs. Now here, you might stay in this forward fold for five breaths, or some of you might have headstand and it feels nurturing and safe in your body. If that's true for you, then that's great. If it's more nurturing and safe feeling to stay in the forward fold, that's still an inversion. No place to get, nowhere to go.
When you're ready. <clears throat> We're going to bring the feet back to the earth if they happen to be to the sky. We'll halfway lift and turn the heels and then the toes out and bend the knees, goddess. Big breath in. Nice. Long breath out. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the front of your mat. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle, stay. You might have a half bind by reaching behind your back with that left arm, or you might have a full bind by threading the right arm under the leg and stacking your shoulders open. You might stay here, or you might step that left foot forward, root down through the left foot and rise up with the right for bird of paradise. If you had a half bind, you could just reach for your knee or even your big toe here. Some folks stay with the knee bent, some folks straighten the right leg. Take a deep breath in. Bend that right knee, place the foot back to the floor. There might be a moment of a bound half moon. So that could be the full bind or the half bind. Take a deep breath in. We'll all land back warrior two. Pivot onto the back ball of the foot, crescent lunge, big inhale, twist high. You might bring your palms together and bring that left wrist or forearm or elbow outside the right knee. From there, you might open your arms high to low. One big swooping breath to revolved exalted warrior. And then down dog your way, you might float that right leg. Once you find your down dog, that could be child's pose, five breaths. Walk or hop to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale, fold forward, exhale, chair pose. Palms come to your heart, twist to your right. So that might mean that your left elbow was between your knees and your feet are a little bit like hip distance. Yeah, and that might be a good place for your low back. Some of you might bring your left elbow to the outside of that right knee. You have to look at your knees. Likely you'll have to draw the left knee back. Drop the booty down, lift the chest up, and then maybe open your arms high to low. You might stay exactly here or side crow. I'd like you to invite in the awareness that it might be more challenging to stay in twisted chair than side crow. <clears throat> When you're ready, fold forward over your legs. You might separate your legs at hip distance or even wider. You might grab opposite elbows. You might sway a little bit side to side, or you might grab your big toes, or you could even stand on your palms. If you choose to stand on your palms, it's kind of nice to squeeze your toes by your thumb pads. I find those are areas of our hands that get real tight. When you're ready, make your way back to chair pose. We could be hip distance or together. Twist to the left. You could put your right elbow in between your knees, kind of using that right inner thigh, or it could be to the outside of your left leg. We're gonna draw the right knee back. We're gonna draw up the hip low, lift the heart high, maybe arms open high to low, and you might stay just like that, or maybe side crow. Honoring our differences between the sides. 
Side crow is challenging, but twisted chair is equally challenging. Either way, you'll probably have to employ your breath here. Take your mind off your thighs. Deep breath in. Hold forward over your legs. You might reach for your calves. Or you could interlace the fingers behind your head, letting the back of your neck get an extra stretch with the weight of your hands and arms. And when you're ready, chair pose, Utkatasana. Arms open to either side. Your right arm goes under for either a hug or eagle arms. Your right leg comes up and over eagle legs. And you could always use your right toes as a kickstand. Elbows slowly make their way towards your knees. And once you have your forearms parallel to the earth, we'll send that right leg flying back. So it's warrior three leg, torso, eagle arms. And then we'll land that right foot back, crescent lunge with eagle arms, crescent lunge with eagle arms. So we're inviting a back bend here. So Conti has that deep, nice bend to the right knee, which helps um, the foundation of the pose so that the low back could remain long and the back bend could be in the upper back. So if you think kind of like from the bra strap up, if you're familiar with where bra straps are, if not right below the shoulder blades, like imagine that area of your body coming in and inviting the sternum to come up. Spin that back heel down warrior two with eagle arms and then humble warrior with eagle arms. So that left shoulder goes inside the left knee if possible. The head goes into the hands if possible or the arms. Now with those eagle arms, could you make your way to the long edge of the mat? Your feet are pointed straight forward and you have those eagle arms, which I find makes this very different, this stretch. You might feel it a, a, perhaps a little bit more in your back instead of simply in the hamstrings and inner thighs. See if that's true for you, we're so different. Hard to know. And then can you keep those eagle arms and turn your heels in, bend your knees and come up to goddess with eagle arms? Maybe your breath can go all the way around the heart. So front of the chest, but also the side ribs, the back of the heart. Great, and then release it all, star pose. Wear your tooth toward the front again, toward the front again. Mm -hmm. Straighten that left leg, triangle pose. You might stay in triangle or half moon. Half moon. So half moon can be where you're not touching the ground and it's more kind of stability, especially for those SI joints. I find this one for me better than going all the way to the ground, but some of you might reach your hand toward the ground or toward a block. And then that right leg goes up even higher, like it's more than 90 degrees. It never feels right in your body. When you're ready, land back, warrior two, one big inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, down dog your way, you might float that left leg. And in down dog, it could always be child's pose, five breaths.
Walker, hop to the top. Halfway lift, fold forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Arms open to either side. Left arm goes under for a hug or eagle arms. And then the left leg comes up and over. And you could use your left toes as a kickstand if you like. Eagle pose. And slowly elbows toward the knees and when the forearms become parallel to the earth, fly that left leg behind you. So warrior three with eagle arms, take a deep breath in. And then land crescent lunge with eagle arms. So if you can, you have that bend to the back knee to help stabilize the foundation of the pose. Keep the low back nice and long as you offer your heart forward and up and breath going into the back of the heart. Some say that's the shadow of the heart chakra, which is grief, unresolved grief in particular, which shows up in ways we just don't anticipate. We just don't know it's there. Warrior two with eagle arms. Humble warrior with eagle arms. That right shoulder might go inside the right knee. Your head might go in your hands or your arms. I'm going to keep our eagle arms, make the way toward the long edge of the mat so that the feet point forward. And just notice how this might kind of change this pose. And turning your heels in and your toes out, finding the foundation of your eagle armed goddess. Inhale, star pose. Warrior two again toward the front. Straighten that right leg, triangle pose. You might stay here or half moon Arda Chandrasana. Land gentle to warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Down dog your way, down dog your way. Walker, hop to a seat. Soles of the feet come together. You might grab your ankles, bring your shoulders away from your ears and draw your heart forward. Feel the bottom tips of your shoulder blades come into the body. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Chin to chest. Left ear to left shoulder.
chin to chest. Level your head up, bring your heart forward, hinge forward at the hips the best you can. Come back up and bring your big toes into your peace fingers. Sitting back on your hips, lifting your feet up. And then maybe straightening the legs. What if you could keep your feet where they are let go of your toes, boat pose, Navasana. For five, four, three, two, one, come onto your back. Bend your knees, bring your feet in towards your hips, bridge pose. You might support your low back with your hands. You might lift your right leg to the sky. You might return that leg and lift the left leg to the sky. Return that leg, see if one at a time or both together. You could lift both of your legs to the sky. So it's like shoulder stand, but not fully, almost like a half shoulder stand. It's an in-between of bridge and shoulder stand. You might stay there or you might work your way into shoulder stand by bringing your hands more toward the back of the ribs, feet straight up to the sky. So whatever works for your body. And if none of that works, maybe you put a block underneath your sacrum, legs up to the sky, and that's a wonderful alternative. If you've come to shoulder stand, you might consider plow where the feet come overhead. If that doesn't work, you could always have one leg up and one leg overhead, kind of the splits. If you have a block under the sacrum, you might stay for five more breaths. If you've come to plow, you might, in five breaths, roll yourself down to fish pose. <clears throat> So if you have a block under your sacrum, you might consider putting the block underneath your shoulder blades now for a restorative version of fish, or you could come to fish pose by sitting on the back of your hands, bringing the crown of the head toward the floor, chin up, heart up, maybe legs up.
about five more breaths wherever you are. And when you're ready, we'll meet on our backs, drawing the knees into the chest and doing a few circles one direction and a few the other. And then twisting to the right. When you're ready, coming back to center and twisting to the left. Bringing your legs back to center. Any final movement that you want before Shavasana? It's great. Or maybe you're ready right now for Shavasana. Shower in the in this great 
When you're ready, allowing yourself to come back to a seat in a way that feels useful for you. Palms gather at our heart in any <clears throat> shape that feels useful to you. Bowing our head. And coming back to that gift of the breath, gift of presence in this sweet body, exactly as she, he, they are. knowing that we can always return to our breath, our truest companion, whenever we feel stressed or hurried or rushed, sad, angry. Our breath is a great companion to equalize and stabilize and settle our nervous systems. And in that way, we create a little bit more peace in our own bodies, our own minds, our own hearts and beings. We can be truer advocates of peace in the world. In that spirit of peace, we say, Shanti, Shalom, Salam, Amani, Maluhia, Irini, Shiakan, Jam, Pache, Paz. In the spirit of true collective and collaborative liberation, we say, Ashe, Amin, Amen, blessed be, Kapu Aloha, in the catch. Sat Nam, Namaste, Matakwiasan, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> 